1894, a small group of people in Des Moines, Iowa, developed the idea to move along the eastern shore to create a utopian colony. Since the early beginning, Fairhope, Alabama has been a place known for its natural beauty, exquisite homes, friendly shops, and restaurants with local cuisine. Today on Art Is, we will explore the lives of local artists from Fairhope. You will meet Wheezy Bancroft Bradner, a painter that travels all over the world, capturing the essence of life on her canvas. You will meet energetic Amy Jones, a metal sculptor and painter, Jules White, who is also another product of Fairhope's creativity. Jules is well known for his colorful abstract paintings. And we will introduce you to Caroline Bates Hoffman, a rug weaver who has played an important role in the sporting the arts in Fairhope through the Eastern Shore Art Center. Have you ever had a casual talk with a friend and during the course of the conversation a simple idea can turn your whole life around? This is exactly what happened for Caroline. Finding her love for weaving was more than a good idea, but almost divine intervention. It started with a conversation at Winslow's. A friend and I were having lunch on a Saturday and we were complaining about working for other people and eight to five jobs and wanting to be at home and wanting to do our own thing and wanting to um, not take orders for some, from someone else, to use your creativity. And um, the words came out of my mouth that the only thing I knew I could do that people would pay me to do would be to weave rugs. I don't know how I knew that because I'd never woven anything but potholders as a little girl, and I was 44 years old then. Um, I thought about it the rest of that day and called her the Sunday morning afterwards and said, you were present at the birth of my bliss. That's what I'm going to do. Monday, I contacted the art center, and they put me in touch with the Weavers Guild, who were getting ready to sponsor a workshop. And um, I, I took that first workshop and got to know the people in the guild and talked to the rug weavers and, well, there was really only one. Most of my teachers have been men. It's rough weaving, so um, men are the ones that do it. And um, I gather as much knowledge as I can gather each year and to fill myself back up again because I'm emptying myself out for other people. And the last show I did, a fellow came into the booth on the morning of the first day and he saw a rug that just, he loved. He pulled it off the rack and threw it down in the grass, which is what I beg people to do. You know, take it off, put it down on the floor, look at it. You, that's where you get the right perspective for a rug. He ripped it off himself, threw it on the ground, took his shoes off, and walked all over it. <laughs> he also bought it. <laughs> but for somebody to appreciate the total package, the design, the color, the texture, you know, that's it's really fulfilling. And all you've done is make something to go down on somebody's floor. It makes me feel good. <laughs> it's hard work, but it makes me feel really good and, and it's it's work that I for the first time in my life I'm proud of you know I have accomplished something I've learned a new technique I produce something with a technique and I like the work myself when we continue on art is you will meet Wheezy Bancroft Bradner a painter who can transport you around the world through her beautiful painting 